We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. He looks like Barack Obama and sounds like Barack Obama. For instance, but he's not all he seems. It's a deep fake. Killmonger was right. A deep fake, in a nutshell, is a fake video. Um, it's a video that um, has been created by essentially feeding a computer algorithm. So for example, uh, President Obama. The, the program learns by watching these videos how to reproduce videos authors making. The software uses deep learning, a new kind of artificial intelligence that can teach itself skills. Someone. Like Jordan Peele. The technology allows an impersonator and a team of scientists to produce an eerily lifelike video. Forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the internet. Some examples don't try to hide their fakery, like in this clip where Donald Trump's face is imposed on Richard Nixon's. Unanimously urged me to do so. For the moment, they're mostly made for comedy value, but in the U.S., security experts and politicians are taking the technology seriously. They believe it could be a threat to national security. It takes some real forensic uh, capability, technical capabilities, to be able to show that it's not real. And by the time that's done, it's been widely disseminated. But we know there are people out there that are trying to divide society, influence elections, and we know this capacity exists. So it's only logical that at some point someone's going to take the next step and sort of weaponize it. After the fight against fake news, the next battle is against deep fakes. Some platforms, including Twitter and Reddit, have already banned the videos. It's a time when we need to rely on trusted news sources.